Hi, David Harper, Bionic Turtle, with a quick illustration of a key concept in bond sensitivity called the dollar value of a zero. It has a synonym here, PV01. These mean the same thing, dollar value of the zero and price value of a basis point. They are both one-factor measures of bond sensitivity that we use when hedging fixed income securities. So to illustrate the DV01, how we calculate it, I'm going to use an easy example here, or the simplest one I could find, a 30-year treasury bond, but it's a P-strip, meaning we stripped out the coupons and it's only the repayment of principal. So this is just a 30-year treasury paying no coupons. So it's a zero coupon bond. And then I need inputs in order to price the bond. The inputs are here in yellow. And then I've labeled what you'd find here are the keys on a Texas Instruments BA2 plus calculator. So we need the face value of the bond. It's 100. The coupon, this is a zero coupon bond, so we're using zero. The K here is something I'm using to indicate how many periods or coupon payments per year. Typical assumption here is semi-annual coupons or two periods per year. And we typically see or use a K there. So K denotes here semi-annual compounding and two coupons per year or coupons paid semi-annually. Then I have the term of the bond, 30 years. On the calculator, that would be N. And then finally, we need a yield assumption. Uh, the calculator, that's IY, interest rate. And the yield here is 5%. So I can input these four, not the K, into the calculator and then compute the price of the bond. And in Excel, I can do the same thing with the PV function. I'll take the rate, but I'm going to divide it by the number of periods per year. I'm going to take the number of periods, 30, but I'm going to multiply that by K. I'm going to look for the payment. It's a zero coupon bond of zero. And then finally, the face value or par value of the bond, which is really the, just the future value on the, key, on the calculator. Input those and I get a bond price of 2273. So this tutorial is not about how to calculate bond price, but I need to do that here. And what this, what this is telling us is that the 30 year zero coupon bond with 5% yield under semi-annual compounding has a fair price of 2273, quite a discount because it's such a long maturity. Now, what's the dollar value of the zero? It's really very simple. All we do is reprice the bond and we change the yield by one basis point. See the name of it here, dollar value or price value of the zero one, that's one basis point. So my yield here goes from five down to 4.99%, that's one basis point. Technically, it's a minus one basis point, not a plus one basis point. So see how that's the only change I've made. And now I reprice the bond, and all I've done is basically shock the yield down by 1%. So I can just copy this formula over. And notice, if my yield goes down by one basis point, my bond price should go up just a little bit. And specifically, look how easy this is. We just take the difference, or really the absolute value of the difference, of the bond prices. In this case, it's about almost seven cents, 0 0.067. This is the dollar value of the zero, or the price value of the basis point. It is simply, if we look at this, the change in the value of the fixed income security given a one basis point decline in the rate. If we change the rate by one basis point, the security, the, the bond in this case, goes up by almost seven cents. Technically, this is a yield-based dollar value of the zero because we can change different types of rates. We could change a spot rate, a forward rate. We're using very typical and specific version of the dollar value of the zero, the yield-based dollar value of the zero, which is a change in the yield to maturity. If you'd like on the website, I've got the spreadsheet with the more direct calculation, but I wanted to show you the intuition. And then there's one other key formula for a, a FRM or a CFA candidate for that matter. Really one of the key sensitivity formulas that I found you can use over and over again, and it's right here in blue. Notice, dollar value of the zero is equal to price 
of the bond multiplied by modified duration divided by 10,000. In other words, the dollar value of the zero and the modified duration are very similar. They're essentially the same except for this infection of price and the unit change. They are both one factor measures of bond sensitivity. And so notice, if I take this formula and solve for modified duration as a function of dollar value of zero, I get this formula here, just to show you how closely related they are. That means I can take this DV01, or price value, the basis point, of 0 .60, uh, 0 0.067, and now I'm just gonna apply this relationship here. I'm going to multiply it by 10,000, which is basically just a unit's conversion, and then I'm just gonna divide that by the bond price, the original bond price here. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take out the dollar sign because we really don't mean dollars here. What I get is the modified duration of this 30-year zero coupon bond. See how easy it was to get the modified duration once I've got the dollar value of the zero? 29.31, it is less than the 30, I do expect that. The Macaulay duration is 30, but the modified duration is less. So I hope this was a helpful introduction to DV01. This is David Harper, The Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.